Hi everybody and welcome. This is Visible Lady of Faith coming to you with an overview of the Sunday School lesson entitled Freedom from the Law for Sunday, May the 15th, 2022. So I guess some of y'all have noticed that I have been missing in action. Uh, We have uh, been out of town uh, attending our daughter's graduation. She, um, this is a daughter that uh, was diagnosed and treated for breast cancer in 2020. So she finished uh, nursing school with a bachelor's degree in nursing, cum laude, and she is doing well. We're uh, so grateful and thankful that she uh, hung in there. This journey for her, for all of us, has been uh, 10 plus years and is studying right now for the NCLEX. So we're proud of her, and uh, we thank everybody that sent prayers up for her. Abraham accepted the promise by faith. Prior to Moses receiving the law, God gave Abraham the promise. The promise consisted of guaranteed blessings of land for his descendants. Abraham accepted the promise by faith. Promised land. God revealed the law to Moses on Mount Sinai. Moses delivered the law to the children of Israel who had escaped Egyptian bondage and were on their way to freedom in Canaan, the promised land. Some of the main things the law required was the blood sacrifice of animals for atonement of sins used in worship services and ceremonies. This showed obedience to the law and their belief in God and the Torah, the first five books of the Old Testament, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. We don't know when Moses wrote these books because he may have been busy managing the people, but it is generally believed that he authored them. Is verbally acknowledging our faith enough? Does it give us a reason or an excuse not to do anything? Faith without works is what? Fill in the blank. Leave your answer in the comment section below. With the law, you had to go through... R-I-T-U-A-L-S to show yourself spiritual. But because Christ, we walk by faith. Our actions reflect our faith. Our actions reflect our faith and the kind of heart we have. The law only lasted for so long, but our faith is lasting. Do y'all think the law was discriminatory because it only included Jews at first and then Gentiles and everybody else later? To clothe ourselves in Christ means that we have made an intentional commitment to follow Christ. We have a mindset to do what is right, to be honest, to be to have unconditional love, and to um, treat others the way we want to be treated, and to have morals and integrity and to be honest.